Yeah, my name is Joseph Andrew Neitauhau. That's my English and my indigenous name, but I have other names in indigenous worldview. So, Kamiugiskan Giskalp Motil is one of them. The other one, I'll just keep that secret for now. To be acknowledged and to have a position of, uh, you know, facilitating and guiding, you know, a great group of, like, sots, you know, is huge for me, you know, it's huge for me. And, and, and I just take it a day at a time, right? A meeting at a time, a step at a time. So, you know, to, to recognize that, well, people are ready to listen. People really want to hear what, you know, I have to say because one of the things that I grew up with is the hardest thing to talk about is things that are truthful and honest, you know. So if you can't be honest and truthful within the collaboration or working relationship with other people and non-Indigenous and Indigenous together, you know, then there's what's the point, right? So I, I really was uh, a little bit antsy initially, you know, whether I would have my voice be heard, you know, and even the ideas that I shared to be activated, you know, as part of this uh, whole experience of developing this site again and developing the projects that we're doing. So that was, that was it's, it's actually a great relationship that we have. For people to catch up with what's happened in this country, right, in the history, in this, with how we've been treated and then how that is being understood, it's hard to believe initially, right, you know, what, what's gone on. And uh, rec recognizing that there's a tragedy here that needs to be exposed, that needs to be even um, part of this history through theater, then you're, you're onto something, you know, and you're, it's a great way to teach the public in general that's more, that's not so direct, you know, and graphic as what actually happened, you know, when, but if I told you what I went through, you know, it's very, very tragic, it's very sad, you know, and it's, it's, it's reality, right, for us. To me, I don't know, to me, we, we just need to slow down and, and listen to each other's story, you know, and, and learn each other's songs and learn each other's dance, right? And that, to me, makes sense, you know, and that's theater, you know, that's, that's the, I think that's one place to start. In time, I, I learned that it's, that simple things of being patient, you know, and being understanding, and, and that's how we move forward, you know, just just slow, slowly but surely, you know, but also patience plays a big deal, you know, and I take it for granted, and I don't realize that other people have never really gone through that experience. They've never experienced smudging of with sweet grass, putting colors up in, you know, on, in the trees, you know, and it's acknowledging, you know, the land and air. And the water and fire, you know, these are important acts of, of uh, living together, right? It's an inclusive thing. Every, everything that we do that's based on ceremony, the whole family, the whole community is involved. It shouldn't be any other way, it should, you know, for all of Canada. That's the way it should be. We should all be one big family. We're always uh, told to, you know, to have empathy with other fellow human beings, you know, and also to, to have love. To, you know, uh, for others, and also to be kind and respectful. Those are the things that uh, are paramount, you know, in, in just relating to, to another human being. That's just on a human level, right? Compassion, right? You wouldn't see what you see on the street so much if we cared for humanity much more, you know? You know, so we need, we need to produce something like that, you know, so that Canada can see that through, through theater. They really need to see it for what it is, you know, and it's coming, it's slowly, slowly coming with it. I realized, well, things that happened through those stories in Shakespeare happened here as well. I know the people that go to Shakespeare also enjoy Shakespearean theater, and they, you know, it, they resonate with it for some reason, you know, there's something that they identify with. And I think the next step is for them to identify with that same situation, that same reality, but from this perspective of the, this indigenous land here and the people that have struggled here. 
that tragedy still has to be played out, you know, and lived and experienced and, and honored and recognized for what it is, you know, and, and not, you know, minimized in any way at all. It's got to have the same level of attention and recognition as anything that's been written centuries ago.